Hey everyone, I'm at High Tower Gap and I just got dropped off by Dale and I'm going to have to hot foot it because I'm a little bit later getting on trail than I thought. So, you know, there was this big portion uh, that looked really steep and I was like, well, it's not all that long, but it is quite steep. And, you know, I wonder what that is. And I was like, that's okay. You know, I hiked a 1.1 mile up Springer Mountain straight up. I should be able to do this. And so, um, whew, already uphill. When I was in the car with uh, Dale, he was like, oh, you're going up Sassafras. And I was like, Ooh, I've heard things about Sassafras. Did you have to tell me that? So, we'll see. I'm off. Catch you later. Cooper Gap, three and a half. High Tower Gap's that way. Going up. Starting out this hike with uphill. Whew. I'm not much of an uphill girl. <laughs> I think I've talked about that before. <sighs> Boy, can I do the downhill and the flats? <sighs> uphill kills me. <sighs> it's all good though. This is a big rock. All right, heave ho. Come on. Ooh, oh, got it. Just did point three straight up and appreciating this flat part before my next really big up. And that's really big one is Sassafras Mountain. And that's 1.1 mile straight up. So, um, but I did Springer Mountain from parking lot straight up and you know I did pretty good on that one so I can do it it's so pretty out here Nope, not Cooper's Gap or Cooper Gap. I don't know if there's an S on it. This is Horse Gap. Horse Gap. All right, which means I am about to start my uphill battle of mind and body. Whew, here we go. There's a breeze. Straight uphill. Catch my breath. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm almost to the overlook. Apparently there's a nice place to take photos. This is really beautiful. Gradual inclines, 
Not so bad. Stairs. Ugh. All right, I'm going. Wow, look at these rocks. Going that way. I didn't miss the picture spot. Yay. Time to keep going. I hear voices up ahead. Might meet up with some other hikers. I like these little five-step reprieves before you go in back up hill again. I don't know if it's a bee or a, or a horse fly or what, but he's circling around me like he's a little kamikaze pilot zeroing in on his target. Whew, little bugger. Yeah, baby. I did it. I summited sassafras. I'm so excited. I kept looking at that map thinking, there's no way. But I did it. Woohoo! Just a short little victory. I've got two more, I think. Minor, more minor than this to go before I get to the. Uh, Gooch Gap. So, one minor victory. I know my trekking pole sounds a little funky when it hits the, the dirt. It's a little bit different. It's called a zappin' hike. So it's got a flashlight and a taser on the end of it that's really cool. It sounds pretty fierce when you set it off. And, uh, you know, it's funny. The, uh, two times that I've been out here, well, three times, um, then I've been out here on the AT, almost every single hiker guy has noticed it and said, oh, what is that, you know, and none of the girls have recognized it as being different than the normal trekking pole, but all of the guys were like, whoa, I need one of those. It is cool, I have to admit, it's not very heavy. We'll have to demonstrate it when I'm not going downhill. I believe I'm about to be coming into Cooper's Gap. Cooper, no S. Yay!
cool. Normally I like to take a break at about four miles, but I think I need to keep going so I can make my pickup time. Gooch gap, 4.7. Whew, Lord. Keep going. I'm seeing the silhouettes of these mountains in the background. Like that one right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. And I'm wondering, did I just climb that? Was that set for us? Or am I gonna climb that? That one's really tall. I don't know. So pretty. Video just doesn't do it justice. That's a nice camp site right there. If I was camping. Almost to the bottom of this hill that I've been on forever, um, coming down, which has actually been really nice. Um, then I've got a small up, small down, small up, small down, big up, big down, and I'm done. Camping north of the creek. North of oh, I get to cross this little stream. So hopefully my uh, balance is good. Those two guys are right behind me now. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Oh God, okay, I got it. And back up, it's a cool looking creek. Did I mention how I hate stairs? <laughs> okay. Oh God. <laughs> I really hate stairs.
was just thinking, oh, look how pretty. What a pretty waterfall. And I was like, hmm, I gotta cross this. Okay. I'll put my glasses in my pocket. Seems like the safe thing to do. Everything's so green. It's hard to tell, I know, from video, the sun shining through. And everything's just so green and pretty. Made it to the shelter. Almost wish I was camping. Whew. But I'm almost done. Almost. Hey. I am a half mile from the finish line, so I'm pretty happy with today. I feel a lot better today hiking than I did the first um, the first miles that I did on here. I, I feel a lot stronger today. I'm tired, <laughs> but I'm not I'm not anything like I was the first time. So I call that a win. Half half mile more do it down to Gooch Gap and I'm gonna get picked up and taken back to the hotel and then I'll be home tomorrow so I have to calculate and see how many miles I've actually gotten in so Robin McLeod Ingram coming to you from the Appalachian Trail <laughs> see ya whatever mountain I'm currently on on I'll have to ask Dale I just summited. Hallelujah! I am on my way down to Gooch Gap and I'm so excited. I'm really excited. And before 6.30, my pickup time, I said 6 o'clock, and it's 6.20. That's pretty freaking awesome. There's my ride.